Hey, I'm been, uh, I've been playing with the new uh, generative feature and uh, just really amazed by uh, how powerful it is uh, using the few functions that we've built, right? Uh, I think we've got something like, um, what if, you know, 12, 13 of them, maybe a few more because some apply to poly, uh, polylines and not polygons. But even with those very limited uh, functions and a good old fashioned copy paste, uh, because we don't currently have a way of iterating, you know, across an array of polygons or incrementally, you know, looping uh, across a variable that, that um, increments, you're able to build just some really cool stuff. So I, uh, I've made this running track, which is fully parametric. Uh, and you can see uh, on the occasion, it, it has some trees around it. Um, but there's something going on with the rendering, the rendering cycle on three, so you won't see those. But how cool is that? And I can get that, and you know, maybe it's a 40 meter radius, or let's make it something strong like a 20 meter radius. Uh, and then you'll see it's a much squarer kind of track. Of course, I could probably uh, implement a, the infamous stadium bowl. Um, I'm using the subdivide algorithm here to create tennis courts. Um, so whilst it's not automatically sizing the tennis courts, you can very quickly get there uh, to accurate size tennis courts without it. This random forest is, is I'm loving it right now. So I've, I've, you know, I wanted to paint some trees across Aberdeen Street and then between the sports complex and the, I'm building like an athlete's village between the athlete's village, which I'll get to in a second. And this is just a really lovely way of doing it. So um, I can grow that forest over and then, and then not. And what I'm doing here, is you know placing 250 trees with a uh, you know a, a random seed and, and scaling their size by 40 percent. Maybe if we scale it by 90 percent, you'll get some really big ones, really small ones, um, and and that's enough to give this beautiful um, this beautiful effect, um, which is definitely something I, I think I'll be developing this more and more. Like this is this is fantastic. Um, and you can do things like you know use the same polygon and then just like cut it off there on the road so that nothing nothing comes on the road and then you know you, you, you know, it's just a very flexible tool like the tree painter and it looks really good especially at an angle you know you can sort of start seeing how this building may sit in its landscape and if you know me you know I like talking about trees um, and I'm using another another tree here another sort of maybe uh, apply a, a landscape usage to this uh, paving so that you can see it you know, in between these apartment buildings, I'm literally, I'm just offsetting this polygon. And if we click on it, you'll see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm rounding the corners. Uh, then I'm making that rounded thing, the landscape, and then I'm offsetting that polygon in and doing an array and placing a tree every 21 meters um, and saving that. And, and that's how we, we get these nice trees. And if that's too many, no problems, you just click on the trees and let's put like a 40 meters between them or I don't know, you know, even more. Uh, and then I think so one of the things I'm really uh, interested about is this, um, is these apartments. So what I've done, if you, if we zoom in is you can see I've on certain uh, bedroom types and certain apartment types so on the 120, you know, the 130 square meter bedrooms, I've put a garden and a little fence that's a meter high fence or wall uh, with a 0 0.1 offset so it's got this you know this cool little uh this little wall which is just really great and then like on this one here what i'm doing is on this usage here i'm uh which is the two the one beds i'm rounding the corners and um and so then you get this kind of effect here of you know which may be a little bit what's it called Willful or something obtuse, um, but just goes to show what you can do, you know, just with a really bit of generative bit of work. And then, of course, what's, what's amazing about it is just how you can get into it and and just change stuff up. Like it's just <laughs> it's really fun. Um, so you can see there now I've got a bit of those. I can pull that one out um, and get out of there. Uh, and I think this is really, you know, I've chosen these kind of muted earth colors basically to sort of contrast it. And you're starting to get like, what's a really nice master plan um, with very, very little effort. You know, there's, 
I mean, this is where it gets interesting. So there's one polygon, which is all the trees. One, two, three, four, five lines for all of these apartments. Six, seven polygons for these landscapes. An eighth polygon um, for this uh, track. A ninth polygon for those six tennis courts. And then a tenth and an eleventh for that little, you know, clubhouse. So like with basically 11 polygons, I'm describing this entire master plan. You know, and if someone says, ah, oh, let's bring the trees around, it's just so fun. It's actually just so playful and fun. And it's like this hyper-optimized for urban planning drawing tool. <laughs> it's, uh, which is really, which is, is, is becoming incredibly, incredibly powerful. And I think you show, you know, a client something like this and just, it just looks, you know, it's engaging and, um, and great. The 2D has been implemented really nicely, like with an infinite field of view, with the shadows there, which just looks lovely. You can see them being cast on the roof as well, as well as by all of the trees.